Do you love change? Or do you resist it? Dislike it? Think it's hard? Maybe you even hate it? It's a weird question, isn't it? As if change was this one thing easy for everyone to agree on and understand, like um, food. Do you love uh, pizza? At work we often talk about change like this, as if it was this one thing or a skill even. Yes, I love change. Well, great, then you will be a perfect match for this company. You see, we're all about change. It's our DNA. Next time you meet someone, a manager or an entrepreneur, or anyone who brags about the love for change, ask them. Oh, so you love change, huh? Like a, a tricky computer virus or bankruptcy or cancer, things like that? Maybe we need at least two different words for change. The kind of change we fear and the kind of change we wish for, work hard to achieve. This spring 2020 is a great example. We all experienced the kind of change we fear and hate. Disease, death, lockdowns, economic hardship, uncertainty. And at the same time, we have all wished for change. To get out, to meet new people, to travel to different places. We even longed for going back to the office, just for change. So, yes, we fear it and we hate it. And yes, life is nothing without it. Maybe a lack of change is the definition of a crisis. The world is slowly opening now. Of course, we still have a long way to go with the virus pandemic, but I love the fact that I can travel again. I can change Sweden for Spain. The opposite of change is not permanence. Since everything in this universe is in constant change, permanence is nothing but an illusion. You know that. So the opposite of change is death the end. That means change is life. And just like life, we sometimes hate it and we sometimes love it. No point resisting or worrying. Or, I mean, you will meet both kinds many times. Better think about how you handle change. Change is life, so the way you handle change will determine the way you live your life. Yes, you hate change. And yes, you love change.